nice functional equations. We have f of 3x over 2x plus 1 equals 4 divided by 5x minus 6. So we want to find f of x given that we have f of, if you call this one an input, and we want to have an output. But what you are trying to get is f of x. So equals in questions. The bunches of this domain, we want to reduce it to only x. So to achieve this, it's very simple as we are going to be applying some substitution approach. If we consider the solution first, let's define the domain of this function. We have f of 3x divided by 2x plus 1 equals 4 divided by 5x minus 6. So looking at the domain at this stage, suppose I let 2x plus 1 equals 0. So letting this one equals to 0, we are going to make x a subject. Then we have 2x equals minus 1. Uh, which implies that our x here equals minus 1 divided by 2. So at x equals minus 1 over 2 at this point is not part of the domain. So x must not be equals minus 1 divided by 2 here. So if it satisfies this domain in this function, I mean the output, what about the, the input? What about the output? So it satisfies this uh, this output, but not all the values here also satisfy this. So let's look at where we let 5x minus 6 also equals 0. So this also implies that 5x equals 6 and x equals 6 divided by 5. So if x also equals 6 over 5 at this point, it's not valid as well. Because this also leads to the zero at this denominator. So we have to try and make sure that we ignore at x equals minus 1 over 2 and at x equals 6 divided by 5 just to have a well-defined function. So after understanding these two domains, then the other real numbers are a member of this x. So let's find f of x. So to obtain the value of f of x, suppose I let 3 divided by x, 3x over 2x plus 1. If I let this one to be equals, we are going to choose another letter. Let's say t, for instance. And I want to make x the subject of the formula. Suppose I divide this t by 1. I'm going to multiply 2x plus 1 by both sides. Here we have 3x divided by 2x plus 1, then multiply by 2x plus 1, equals t multiplied by 2x plus 1. And 2x plus 1 cancelled 2x plus 1. So when this cancelled, we are going to have 3x equals t into bracket of 2x plus 1. And since we want to make x the subject of the formula, let's open this parenthesis. So we open the parenthesis with t. As we have 3x equals t multiplied by 2x, we get this as 2tx, then plus t multiplied by 1. That gives us t. And we need to get x. Let's subtract 2tx from both sides. That is, here we subtract minus 2tx, also we subtract minus 2tx from here. As we are going to have this as 3x minus 2tx. So plus 2tx minus 2tx cancelled, and this gives us t. And after obtaining this, let's factor out x. So when we factor out x, divide this 3x by x, we are going to have 3 minus Let's divide this minus 2tx by x. We have minus 2t equals t. And by dividing both sides by 3 minus 2t, also divide this one by 3 minus 2t. So this cancelled, and we have successively made 
x the subject of the formula which equals t divided by t minus 2t so this is the value of x then let's come back to the given function and replace every single x with t divided by 3 minus 2t so let's start substituting the value of x since what we are given is x equals t divided by 3 minus 2t but initially we let 3x over 2x plus 1 to be equals t so no need to replace every single x with t over 3 minus 2t here as again just try and replace since we have already assumed all this one to be t we just take every single thing here and equate it to t then looking at this side we replace every single x with t divided by 3 minus 2t so therefore we have f of t equals before that let's say i have 4 divided by 5x minus 6 so i'm going to put this one in bracket because of this division then i'm replacing x with what we have which is t divided by 3 minus 2t then minus 6 so i want to deal with what is inside the bracket first so we are going to multiply this with 5 we have 4 divided by here we have 5t divided by 3 minus 2t then minus 6 so getting this we are going to divide this by 1 and we find the lcm so we multiply 3 minus 2t with 6 and we have 4 divided by 5t minus 6 into bracket 3 minus 2t all divided by 3 minus 2t all in bracket and then we have 4 divided by so we open this parenthesis out we have this as minus multiplying 3 minus 2t so everything here becomes 5t plus 12t that is 17t then minus 18 because 6 times 3 it gives us 18 divided by 3 minus 2t so with what we have here we are going to have 4 divided by so we change this division to multiplication by reciprocal we have multiply 3 minus 2t divided by 7t minus 18 and when we replace every single t with x we have f of x equals 4 into bracket of 3 minus 2t divided by 17t minus 18 so this is what we have for f of x where t is not equals 17 divided by 18 thanks for watching and see you in the next video bye bye